guys, what's going on? And welcome to Violent Horror Stories Anthology. So as you can see down here at the bottom, there are four different games. We're just gonna be playing this one today. No, I'm not a human, I'm a something. Uh, it's an intimate story about a disaster and guests from underground. If you do wanna see the other three, which after you watch this, I almost guarantee you, you will, because this game is incredible. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments which of the next three you would like to see. Uh, I think the other three are not nearly as long as this one. This one is quite long. So we'll maybe do all three of those in one video if if you like the video, of course. Uh, but until then, welcome to No, I'm Not a Human. I'm a... No, I'm not a human. I'm a... What is that? Okay, somebody's knocking at the door. People from the cities have already come into the neighborhoods. To the neighbors, people have changed a lot. If they come to your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me the signs, what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come and who knows what's next? Ah, uh, what's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night, and I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Is it better not to leave the house now? Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in and who not. It's hard to decide visually who will be told will be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. Keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight, and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon, and we'll talk. Sleep in your cabinet? Did I say he could sleep in my cabinet? Who's that guy? What's going on? It's like some sort of a doppelganger apocalypse. The pop, the apocalypse. That didn't work the way that I thought it was going to. There's my bedroom. Guess I'll just sleep. This is kind of a cool game. It's like, good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record, and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are clearly monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. Most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of the too much sun. Okay, you can watch graceful ballerinas gliding across the stage performing beautiful pirouettes. Classical dance brings back warm childhood memories and make you think of the beautiful things. What's that? This is so strange. It's like a, it's like one of those point and click games mixed with... Oh, there you are. Did you see the new cast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. So think hard about how you, who you want to talk to. One more thing, checking people for signs of guest should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen. Have a cold one from the fridge. It'll I'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. Uh, so I'm just supposed to sit around and survive? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought you to chill. It'll make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard at night that if someone walks around uh, asking if you're home alone, if you open the door, don't say that you're alone. What's going on? I'll have a beer though. I don't know why, but i uh, feeling drowsy from the beer. Best thing to do right now is sleep. Hell yeah. The problem solver right there. A cold, crisp beer. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. Oh shit. Somebody's knocking. All right, let's check outside. Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it's a lot of people went out at night. Uh, tell me something about your dad. Oh, I can tell you a lot. Before he goes out, he likes to have a little beer. <laughs> he leaves me lunch, dinner, and juice. Today, I tried the beer he drinks. Oh, it was awful. Why drink that when there's juice? Oh, please don't tell him. Are you afraid of visitors? I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? If my friend from school hit me hard, is he a visitor too? Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly so no one saw me. I'm calling dad for you. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Goodbye. Did. Oh my god. I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Hmm. 
Not everyone can handle my temper, but I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. I don't know how it is. My head's not shaped like the Easter Island stones. What do you think? Will you let me in? You're not a visitor, aren't, ain't you? You think I'm one of those monsters? No, I'm no visitor, but asking everyone to their face about it is just crazy. Anyway, it'll be like that from now on. Why do they kick you out of your last shelter? I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best they kicked me out. Those would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Ah, uh, you should probably leave, man. Hmm, I understand. I understand you, but I'm angry. You're just as much of a coward as everyone else here. Sleep well at night, homeowner, and f you. I mean, come on, how am I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm just like supposed to be profiling here. Like, how am I supposed to tell? What did the guy say I was supposed to do? Uh, sorry for disturbing you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it's better not to go out in the sun. Is there any corner for me? Uh, who are you? Um, I used to live closer to the town. The asphalt heats up pretty intensely out there. <laughs> I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. What are you going to do now? Hmm, I'll try to survive somehow. It scares me, of course, with these visitors around and the sun blazing like just hell. I really want to live. <laughs> oh, ain't she scared? Please tell me it's gonna be all right soon. <laughs> Come in. Thank you, thank you, oh, really. Yeah. Did I do an okay thing? I don't know how to tell if I'm supposed to let people in or not. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, shit. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now on to the news. Aliens, people emerging from underground. Nah, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. Turns out he was one of these visitors. Us, they. <laughs> okay, pay attention to their teeth. Pay attention to this up face, man. What is that? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, similar incidents with visitors spor sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay calm and alert. Please check their teeth, okay? So I need to ask them for their teeth. What happened? Didn't, didn't that girl say she was living in the living room? Jeez. Okay. Should we take a beer? I have lots of energy, man. I'm gonna I just, maybe just take a beer and go to sleep. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have me a brewski, have me a cold one, crisp cold Coors Light on the house. Feeling drowsy. Best thing to do right now is go to sleep. Good night. See you in the morning. Oh shit! Here we go. It's game time, ladies and gentlemen. At least I know what to do now. Let me see those teeth, baby. Well, I, I would I would maybe be in trouble in this scenario. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Who are you? It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor, but there is something I would ask of you later. I'm not sure yet. Take off your jacket. No, it's okay if you don't let me in. I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or bother you. Okay, then go. I get it. Okay, bye. I see you got a lot of gunpowder residue on your hands. Can you shoot me? Yeah, you need the bullets yourself. Bye. I'm happy! <sighs> Another visitor, here we go. How fortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed, the sun will do its work, and we'll go to a new clean world. That's the f good news. Uh, you're kind of scaring me, brother. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me, I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things, and now the sun is angry. Give his hit to us. And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we have to die? Nah, sins will fade away. The sun may die, but we'll live. There'll be no more deaths, no more stealing, no more greedy bastards who can sell me what I want for a fair price. Can you imagine such a thing? Do you realize what this is all about? Uh, you barely meant. Did you pretend you didn't hear know anything about the sun? Well, f you then. I'll save someone else. All right, bye, 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 bye. He had a, he had f***ed up teeth, though. Maybe I should have let him in. I don't know who's weird, though. I don't really want that guy as a housemate. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we're our participants, too. You need anything? No, thanks. Everything I need is already there. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read a line? What are you talking about? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Open near the middle last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, 
Seems someone else will come tonight. He didn't even try to get into the house. Guess I go back to sleep now. Oh, this is... Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an ac acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing. Her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline at 04-5-1. Please stay alert and calm avoiding leave and avoid leaving your house during daylight hours. Now let's move on to other news. And maybe this was explained to me and I'm just dumb as hell. The one thing that I'm not getting here is why would I ever let anybody in? You know? And what happened to that girl that I did let in? Lots of questions here that I don't really understand. Need answers. Don't know what's going on. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I just don't really understand why I'd ever want to let anyone in at all. Anyways. Oh, wow. Uh, why are you here? How's it going here? Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, hey. Are you alone in the house? Just curious. You're just reading someone's fortune, promising salvation to some, driving some away. I have other people taking shelter here. How come? It's hard to be alone. What's wrong with you? Come with me, young man. No one would happen when the last sunset arrived. The house is left unoccupied for a long time. What? What the hell did I just play? What, what, what just happened there? I just went with that guy and that was the end of it? What? Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna zoom through this really fast and see what's going on here. Oh, cause I had to let somebody in. That's what the problem was. Okay. One eternity later. Okay, so we let her in. We've got two people in. Um, where are they? I don't actually know, but we should be able to get up in the morning and talk to them now, I think. Uh, I don't want to sleep. I have enough energy to talk to someone. Oh, yeah, let's talk to this guy. Yeah, did you want some? Uh, how do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is bullshit. They just want us to kill each other, and it's not clear why. Uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. You want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Yellowish, huh? I'm not a visitor. Okay, he didn't actually show me his teeth, but I'll just assume that he did. They're calling that a cabinet. That is not a cabinet. Where's that other girl at? Where does she even go, man? Where's she in the bathroom or something? She comes in and then just like runs off or something. I'm glad that guy's actually staying with me because that, that girl that I let in has been nowhere to be seen. I guess maybe I should snooze then, eh? Let me crack open a cold one. Mm-mm. Feeling drowsy from the beer. Best thing to do is sleep right now. Go to night. See you in the morning. I had the craziest dream last night. I was, um... I'll, I'll let you, I'll let you imagine what it was. Knock at the door. Who is it? Uh, let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Uh, let's let her in. Come in. Thank you. Ceiling's a little low here, but I'll be fine. Ceiling's a little low? Who the fuck are you talking to, man? All right. Oh, it's this guy, Jack Black. Come on in, Jack. Just kidding, I'm not letting this guy in. Not happening. You better leave. Thanks, man. Anybody else coming today? One more visitor, I think. Maybe we're all participants too. Just a person, not looking for anything. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. I come into the shadow shadows. Uh, you're weird. The dead will not, will come and tell and he will not be believed. Oh, that's the same thing it said last time. All right, nobody came today, tonight. Nobody's coming tonight. Good night. All right. So this is where I died last time, correct? Right. I think so. Yeah, the fingernails. Let's talk to let's talk to this dude. Oh shit. I wish there was some warmth. How do you recognize a visitor? Mutated humans who absorbed anger of thousands of years, uh, the air reflection, our antipodes uh, whom we would never want to see or know. But they're there and now we have to put up with them somehow. Uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Uh, hands. Nails I'll show you. Hmm. Looks like chipped them all or something. Take a look anyways. What the fuck? Think my fingernails fit the sign of a visitor? I'm tired of living. Ow! Wait. What happened? I didn't, I didn't say shoot. I, I was gonna hear her out. Uh, somebody's growling somewhere. Does that, does that mean I got the decision right? Oh shit. Well, wasn't the same thing gonna happen now? Uh, isn't that? Oh man, bro. I should've let Jack Black in, bro. 
Oh, I gotta go drink a beer before I can sleep. Oh, this is a disaster. I can't believe I just shot her. Okay, good night, please. Shit. Ah, uh, this is the end for me, isn't it? Yeah, this is the end for me. Pretty sure, pretty sure. I don't know if the RNG is gonna change here, but I'm pretty sure it's the end for me. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually? How's it going here? Ah, so, uh, nope, nope, I'm gonna die. Uh, what do you want? Are you alone in the house? You're just reading someone's fortune, promising a vision. Uh, I have other people taking shelter here. <sighs> Am I dumb as hell, man? Many unbearable hours later. Okay, I'm letting Jack Black in. Do you have any beer? I forgot to ask. Yeah, <laughs> I got beer, brother. Is that the last night? Or the last person? Or is there one more yet? Two hours of the witnesses. Do you need anything? No, I don't think, I think this guy just fucks off. Yeah, I think he, I think he just leaves. Okay, hopefully we wake up and this guy's still alive in there. Not put in a bag by some crazy lady that I will uh, then be shooting in the head. Um, all right, we've seen all this 75 times. Let's go have a chat. Oh, good, he's alive. How many victims are there? Thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions? Honestly, I have no idea. And no one will tell you. Don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you come up with, triple it. That's probably closer to the actual number of victims. All right, nobody. Okay, so where's Jack Black at? Oh, what's up, bro? Listen to your words, human speak. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Teeth. Okay, I've defended all my truths. See for yourself what I'm really doing here. Yeah, I'm standing on business today. This is the only guy I trust. All right, game time. Please tell me that that guy's still in there. Please God, tell me that guy's still in there. Can I look at the shades? Oh, bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are not removed from the streets. Jesus, this game is f***ed up, man. Can I look at this one? Oh, wow. Group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently there are small units set here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with dangerous guests on the street. Interesting. But yet this guy is still here. Who are you? How's it going? Is everything okay? Uh, why are you ignoring my question? Are you alone in the house? Just curious. I am not. I have other people here. You're lucky tonight. Yes! I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what'll happen tomorrow? So is this guy going to leave? Like, do I, like, could I not just realistically just believe in it? What the hell? Can I rest at your place? Where'd you come from? I don't remember anymore. I don't care about it. I'm very tired. If I don't get some rest, I'll just collapse from exhaustion. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly now, so it's pointless to let him go now. Ah, uh, f***. Yeah, you better leave. That's a, you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're weird. Come on. You're walking around with your husband's corpse? Seriously? You see what's going on? F***ing hell. How's it going down here? What do you need? Just curious. That's all. Actually, I got a little scheme and you could easily make some money. With the sun feeling so good, you can, even, you can make money without even trying. And all the losers are scared of something. But you just need to hustle, bitch. Uh, why'd you come to me? You're already in business. You're gathering people. You're doing something here. You're making things happen. We'll turn this thing into a celebration of life. Yeah, you pretty f***ed up. You can come oh, in. You got an Among Us shirt on. I, I, I wouldn't have let you in without that. Oh, ho, ho, now we're talking. Finally, someone some sense, bitch. Hi. Can I come in? Uh, have you been watching the house? What? Uh, no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow. Where'd you come from? There was a hospital at the center of town. Yes, there was, but it became overwhelmed with patients and we couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many visitors infiltrated in such conditions. The situation spiraled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. Come in. I hope I can help someone. Jeez. Nobody? Oh, I thought there was a knock. It just like went off. All right, place your bets. Will we wake up to a death in the house? Probably. 
Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valley and FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors. Intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during the daylight hours. Oh my god, he's still alive. Yeah, do you want some? Do we need to stick together? It depends on your point of view. It's hard to do it alone. Can't survive without a group now. But on the other end, you see it yourself. Because of the visitors, it's hard to trust people. How can you build a group if anyone can be a bastard? I like that guy. He's kind of my ride or die. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> What's up, bitch? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Oh, there's those teeth. I can show you some teeth, bitch. My brother-in-law got his teeth done. He got smashed. Guess what? Lost those teeth. Ah, <laughs> oh, I gotta show you now. Uh, they're white. Good, huh? What are you doing? You're out. I get it. Of course, all the stress, the visitors and stuff. But she's doing it all, for all of us. Anyway, I hold no grudges. Won't tell you any bullshit. Uh, why are her teeth so good? Let me see. Let me see your teeth. No, I, f I already did the teeth. I just wasted it. No, I didn't. I didn't waste an energy. It didn't take the energy. Oh, I did. I need to check on you. Let me see your hands. Can't do anything with my nails. Look. Okay, nails are good. I go. Ah. Uh, oh, jeepers! You're looking kind of green, Doc. Let me see. Let me see them teeth. If you want, we can fix your teeth too. Cheap, of course, since you help me out. Once all the sun madness is over, that is. Let me see. Let me see them. Let me see them hands, Doc. Yes, I've operated on so many people with these hands. I can tell you so many stories, but maybe another time. Now, please look. Okay, hands look good, though. I try to keep these arms toned so I don't slack off. Who knows what tomorrow I might bring. Let me see them eyes, too, dog. Mmm, yeah, I'll show you my eyes. Not sure if you noticed, but I have polychoria. That's what it means. My vision is actually worse because of it. You'd think having two pupils in one eye would be handy, but alas. What the f***, man? I hope this- I hope we got the Krusty Crew here. It, not the Krusty Crew, the opposite of the Krusty Crew. No, the Krusty Crew's lit. I, please. I mean, we didn't wake up to any deaths. I don't really think we have room in our house, though, anymore. Let's let's see, though. Let's see what tonight brings. Hello, I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. Uh, how can I trust you? You must have seen the news. We were there. I can also show you my ID. Why are you wearing a hazmat suit? Are we getting one of those? There's no reason to be afraid. The suit is in case we catch the sunrise. Civilians don't need it now. Just stay home. We'll take care of you. What's next? I will take one man from you. I'll have him back soon. It's for examination. You may have been exposed to solar radiation. We'll measure it on one person. It can be anyone. What's next? Wait, either we'll evacuate you from the dangerous area or we'll bring the man back to you. We will issue instructions either way. Now I'm taking the man from you. We'll go. Goodbye. Okay, I was kind of sus uh, apparently man. I was sus of that one anyways, so. What a mess. Do you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally. Nobody's pretending. Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. If you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive. No bones left. Now the new order is whoever is the strongest, right? Whoever says he's not one of the kind people will be dead tomorrow. Uh, how many houses have you switched? I haven't been anywhere for a long time, but everywhere I see chaos. Fear blinds people to so many things. You still have some order. That's interesting. I'd like to see you keep it. Come in, bitch. An intelligent decision. You force now, you, the force now rules your life and you either accept it or get in trouble. How come nobody's lit, bro? Where's all the cool people at? Let me in. Are you hysterical? I don't know what to do. People eat. Wait, is this the girl that, that, that was with the guy in the beginning? Why do they do that? Drink some water. I don't know. I don't know. They were quietly sitting with daddy in the kitchen. And they did, did, did something. Did, 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 did the house on fire. She talks like me, man. <laughs> While I was running, they were just laughing. I, I, do we trust her? I don't know. I feel like... <sighs> bad, 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 bad decision. She's going to murder somebody. I know she's going to murder somebody. I know she's going to. Oh, no. I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. Why do you travel? Yeah, those fairy ones. Have hey, you seen what the visitors are up to? Every house. Someone's killed. Someone else is torn apart. They pretend to be one of us. And man, all hell breaks loose. We need to wipe out these visitors. What's your weapon against the visitors? Where's your weapon against the visitors? I had a gun. I almost got myself killed. 
waited till I was asleep in the tent and just stole my gun. I was running. They were shooting. That's kind of fun they have. Nothing, nothing human but a shell. Fuck it. Yeah, you weren't a pushover. A real man. Well, mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. More? Ain't my home? Who are you? I used to live a couple blocks away. We were evacuated from our home by those in the yellow suits, but they didn't take us anywhere. They didn't provide us a place to live. Where should we go? Where should we do now? Well, everyone's figuring out where to go. I'm here trying to save myself. Why'd they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Which well, is kind of right. Yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? They're gonna take us somewhere. Well, how do, how do we even have room for all these people? I don't have that much room. Someone's dead for sure. Holy shit. I've got, I've got like a frat party going on in my house now. I really went from not letting anybody in to letting everybody in. Well, good morning, dear. You smell the can death. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Uh, FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors results in severe blurring in the photos. This effect can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have yet, not yet been deserved. However, FEMA urges us to stay calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. All right, please not my man. Please not my man. Okay, okay, okay. Do you have a question for me? I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Photograph. I don't like how my picture's taken. This picture's just don't happen in the trash later. I have to take action. Do you understand that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, do you want something? Uh, is the end near? What's the point of this question? Do you want me to comfort you? Nah, take a sober look at this situation. If not the end, then disaster is definitely very close. Is there anything we can do? I think we should have done something earlier. Now it's over. Who's the, who's the monster in this house? Uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Let me see. Let me uh, take a picture. I don't really like taking pictures. Flash reminds me of a thunderstorm. Makes me panic. No, you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Thanks for understanding. <laughs> you know, I don't like that stuff. Pictures, sudden flashes, sounds. Brr. I'm not interested. Fuck you, man. Why can't I talk to the girl? All right, well, I, I, I did, let, let's see. Let's see. Let's see your uh, Let's see your hands. Then. All right, hands look fine. Hands look fine. Uh, oh, apparently they're dirty, too. All right, this guy, this guy's over two here. Okay, all right, all right. You f fuck. Teeth. Oh! <sighs> I might have to shoot this man. I might have to shoot this guy. Oh, wow. You got some Gojo ass eyes, bro. Damn. One more, one more, one more, one more, one more. I need to see, I need to see, uh, I need to see your hands. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I just killed everyone in the house. I'm not hearing the growling no more though. All right, let me take a pic of the dock. I understand that we need to check out the signs, including this one. Okay, I think I've got my people, bro. I think I got, I think I like my people I have. I think we're doing pretty good. I like, I like the guys we got. I like the guys we got. Let's check out the window. You're looking at your neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. Seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, but people with paranoia brings you anxiety. So how many innocent people do you think I just killed tonight? Wow, I went on a shooting spree, jeez. Uh, oh, you see a stick with a helmeted skull on it. There's some black burnt skin left on the skull and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head's been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat surely left by that creepy pale visitor. All right, let's check out this window too. There's a dead man hanging suspended from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says, Visitors are not welcome. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in a lynching. The thought of violence engulfing a uh, once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you long for quieter times. Who's there? We're with the FEMA team. We do a survey of your neighborhood. Man, you took isn't enough. Last one. Oh, that. The examination procedure is quite exhausting right now. Your man is in rehabilitation. After he rests, we'll bring them back right away. Why was one not enough? The sample's too small. The boss first said to take one at a time, but now we can see that we need more. So we went out again. Um, no, you don't get it. We didn't give, give you a choice. We're just doing our job. You can't say no. No! What do you think of that one in the suit? I don't know how to feel about him. What's not to know? Oh yeah, anyway, I don't care. Kind of busy, can you come back later? I understand, of course. I'll come back later. Just say, are you alone in the house? Nope, I have other people here. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world and only ones will be here. Have a good stay. That son of a bitch took my friend. He was the only one I'd like to... Oh, God. 
But what comes next is a terrible secret. You're back. It's not for long. I just walk around and observe what's happening, how the world's changing. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're in for birds raining from the sky. What's that mean? You tell me, is this supposed to be the end? Or are we yet to smell more gunpowder? I can't see beyond my own nose anymore. Probably nothing to wait for. Uh, what should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? Cry. I'm gonna lay down and f cry. That's what I'll do. Oh my God. Okay, so I've got the doctor and I've got the little girl. Oh, jeez, Louise, man. This could be bad. Okay, please no death and decay. Please no death and decay. Please no death and decay. Shit. Wait. If this game froze, I'm gonna start crying. I've made it this far. Come on. Don't do me like this. Uh. Okay, so I just watched the gameplay of this, and when the screen goes black, which it still is, it's supposed to pop up and say that you pray helplessly that one day this will be over, and then it says you board up all of the windows, and then that's the end of the game, then the credits roll. So this is the end of the game. Nothing else actually happens. Um kind of unlucky that we didn't get that. I don't know why it froze, but um, it is what it is. There was game number one. What was that one called? That was pretty cool though. The concept of that game was sick as fuck. It was like, that's not my neighbor mixed with like something else. I don't know. I liked it though. Hope you guys liked that one also. But uh, for now we are going to move on to the next one.